so we are back it's a special episode that we got so going down today you know what i'm saying um our interviews of the evening you know what i mean it's it's i want to call this the legendary hour that we got going on here you know what i'm saying because we have two legends in the building you know what i mean so shout out to adam bomb who's been here from episode one and he's here with us co-hosting the episode as well as you know we got a bunch of questions that we're gonna be having for fuck who you thought it might be knew the day i did it i would do it on the nightly flows finally getting credit shows highly recommended but anything you want i know somebody who can get it him you know down, what I'm saying? Down. And, and aka the legend adam bomb Yes, sir. It's good to be here. Salutations once again. Thank you. Usha. Usha. But who just joined our conversation here, right? And it was cool because he just walked in the room. We're like, whoa! Oh, very, very <laughs> royal sure. rumble yeah. <laughs> yeah. sure You know what I'm saying? We're so, trying to figure it out. It was dope. This legend right here, right, has had collabs with men like Elephant Man. Um, Canadian stars like Nelly Furtado. Jeez. But what's a friend of mine? Juno Award winning, much music award winning for best music video. Okay? Facts. This guy is a fucking legend. One of the first people who had a real record deal that was like like the Americans. Over here. Okay? So for all the people who are out there in the fucking viewing land and the listening land who aren't aware, you need to fucking get aware because we have we have two legends in the building. Do your history. Do your history. And and the one who just joined us, we have is Jelly Stone. Hey. Or Jelly Stone yes. Poet. Hey, hey. Respect, respect, you know respect. Saying? Young Poet in the building. Yes. Thanks. Thanks. Still yes. here. Yes. All right, yeah. Yeah. Yes. God yes. Bless. Ah. Okay, so I'm going to have a, I'm gonna have a question for, for both of y'all, okay, to start off right here. Okay, so for both of y'all as, as men who've been in the game for a while now, you know what I'm saying, um, who's put in a lot of work out here, right? Um, for you, Jelly Stone, as a man who's had hits and has put on a lot of different artists in the game, right? And for you, Adam Bomb, as a man who's had hits and a lot of legendary and classic verses and classic tunes and been part of classic crews. MCs, MC. Right? Yeah, you guys, I, 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 even if you guys don't want to say it yourself, it's safe for me to say that you guys are legends. Right. Back. So, how did that feel? Like when people hit you up and they're like, "Yo, you guys are legends." Like, how did, how do you how do you receive that? Go ahead. You want to start <laughs> with that? Go ahead, man. Yeah. Man, you know, um, to be frank, I'm 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 trying to earn it. Mm. I'm still trying to earn it. I, I, I appreciate it. It's a it's a term that I feel like might even be thrown around a little too loosely in, in our day and age, but. Um, Huh? You know, that being said, I, I appreciate it. I'm appreciative of it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to have uh, been able to contribute to a point that people feel that way. But but inside myself, truly, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm still trying to earn it. You know? Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. And Absolutely. what about you, Adam, Mom? Um, that whole shit, as far as the term legend, when it comes to me, that all came from, like, me hailing up people in the street, and I didn't want to call them bro or king or a man or anything like that so i came up with my own thing and i mm -hmm. just started calling everybody legend so they called me it back so that's really just a nickname kind of thing and the way i get it from is just me fi me considering people legends in their own right so you know what i mean whether you're just buying groceries for your folks or you know making sure your family's right mm -hmm. you're a legend to certain people in your circle but same way jelly was saying wow. it's not a matter of me saying i'm legendary in the rap industry whatsoever yeah. i'm just trying to make my own legacy and that's really what it is it's about building it straight yeah. that's what it's from and yeah anybody who hails me up on that level right back at you you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah and that's just dope. to stay with you for a second you know what i'm saying yeah. um oh, shit. you've been part of like, like i saying in the top of this interview that we have here you've been part of different crews and stuff right mm -hmm. freedom writers nsb and stuff like that right yeah. um natural born strangers yeah. now with natural born strangers how did that come together like how did y'all 
Like, uh, fuck. long story short is uh, my man Brian B from Legends League was trying to put out a clothing line mm-hmm. of uh, like he was just trying to do a release of gear, and he just wanted to put out a CD of beats. Yeah. He just wanted to put out some 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 like a CD with the clothes he was putting out, and the clothing line was called Naturally Born Strangers. Okay. Uh, so he asked Richie, he was like, "Yo, would you put together some instrumentals, and I'll just hand them out, and it'll be like a soundtrack." To the close. Mm-hmm. And he was like, well, would you mind if I put some MCs to it? And uh, he goes, yeah, it depends on who it is. I wasn't really about everybody. Yeah, who do you think? And he, he picked out Tony and me. And I was already retired, quote unquote, retired at the time. I was done with music. Mm-hmm. And he hit me and tapped me for it. And I said, yo, if it's for Brian, who I respect, and it's for Richie, who I respect, and Tony, I respect, let's do it. And yeah. I, I jumped back in the game only for them. And good things have happened since then. So, oh, yeah, that's the, nat- that's the intro to, to Strangers. Yeah. Start pouring the glass, I'm fucked up Room spinning, nude women, floor puke ridden I'm in the tub napping Dope, 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 dope. Yeah, shout out to all of them. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to be bouncing these questions around here because it's like, it's just in my brain, I'm like, whoa. Hey. Um, this, this is like a podcaster's dream right now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so would you, Jellystone, okay? Um, yes, sir. In the climate of the hip-hop, the Canadian hip-hop scene today, right? And like, for somebody who's attained success, right? What do you see the differences between the earlier times and the times that are going on now? Oh, and this is a question that's for both of y'all, actually. Yeah, it's almost twilight zone. Mm, <laughs> very true. You know, oh, and, and the time leading up to this, it was, you know, it, it was. It's almost like Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah, Revenge of the Nerds. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like, That's the movie for the black people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> Revenge of the super Nerds. Back. Yeah, it was like, you know, because, you know, there's, there's a lot of different, um, a lot of different ways I could, uh, could uh, there's different aspects to that. Mm-hmm. When, when you pose a question, I, I, you know, there's different levels I, I, I think of it on but you know on the on the page on on in terms of the twilight uh zone aspect and the revenge of the nerves aspect uh it's in in my day coming up you had to be somebody to get on the mic Mm -hmm. in front of the in front of people like that mattered yeah Um, or you was you was backed by somebody who was somebody. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like, the, the guy mm-hmm. in that circle was like, nah, nah, let, let him get on. Or you were somebody and they, they had you, you the mic. You yeah. feel me? Like, it came with the, it came with a lifestyle. Like, and, and that, you know, the, the and the, the lifestyle wasn't commercialized in, in, in that way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, the culture of the lifestyle was, that was, that's hip hop. Yeah. But, you know, Back in the day, when we was, you know, you would never say exactly what you was gonna do. Mm. You know what I'm saying, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You clevered it out. You know what I'm saying. You, you found, you know, and and that, I, I believe, added to the wittiness of of lyricism and mm-hmm. and, and et cetera. And, and not to go off of the point, but, um, yeah, I, I feel like uh, the difference now is that, uh, you know, you. You could be anybody, you know, and that, and it's not a bad thing. I, I don't say it to totally criticize it, but um, it, it's just a fact that a matter, of, you know, you don't you don't necessarily have to come from that lifestyle yeah. or, or have that uh, uh, backative sort of so quote of, sort of you know to you know on a broad scale of where the culture's at now, you know, yeah. um, versus. Uh, what it was, you know. So um, that's that's one aspect of of how it's different. Um, the obvious difference is, is just how people are consuming the music. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The the, the um, streaming, the streaming, the, just the, the the deconstruction of the the gatekeepers mm. and the and the labels and, and the and the bureaucracy on a certain level for the for the startups for the you know what I mean just to get in like you can. You could, you know, make music in your kitchen and your, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just release it, yeah. And yeah. just put it out now. Yeah, so that has, you know, totally, you know, put the game on its head. And, and uh, 
and yeah, I mean, so those are the two major differences that I that I see that that are you know um, have its its pros and cons to them both, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But uh, but you know, change is 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 uh, inevitable. <laughs> um, the growth of the culture has been exponential. I'm proud of that. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm proud of, uh, of of the young boys, you know, doing exactly what they feel and and you know twisting and turning it to 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 whatever degree they feel. That's the whole point. Hip hop is the one music you can use anything to make, yeah. any sound, anything. You know, so it, it's it's uh, it's just it's just waiting to be fucked with. You know what I'm saying? So I I, I appreciate. You know how it's being fucked with musically, which is sort of like a throwback too in terms of the sounds and just, uh, you know, moving away and not moving away from totally. Cause sampling is, is you know, uh, integral to 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 the culture. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, the fact that that you know kids are writing their own melodies now and yeah. and, and creating original, totally original uh, pieces, um, that's also great. <clears throat> For the culture and for the for the building of of the future of the music and 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 then having those things to be sampled, you know, because I, I believe sampling is gonna, like I said, it's integral to the culture. I don't think that needs to ever stop. Um, yeah, well, they're sampling know. people now. There's like just sampling stuff from the early two thousands, late nineties, yeah. right? That's becoming where the new samples are, right? That's totally. Right. And and also even like to piggyback that question, right? For you, Adam, right? Yeah. As, as, and you guys are both lyricists, right? Mm-hmm. And for you who has dropped music in the last few years, that's been like, you dropped two <laughs> albums in a year. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Driven yeah. by lyricism. Yeah. Do you find it hard navigating through this quote unquote mumble rap time being a lyricist? Nah, man. I feel, I feel there's enough lanes for everything. Like, there's nothing that I feel that can't be introduced into the thing. I feel like, and I might have said this before, if... If everybody was kicking bars, mm. I would be the guy doing mumble rap because I feel like everything needs to be presented. Yeah, the only yeah. reason why I don't kick that is because there's enough people doing it. Mm-hmm. So I do my own lane. You know what I mean? I'm a very like, I don't know. I want to bring out the, the Scrabble word. I'm like a, uh, what's the word? Contrarian. I'm a contrarian to everything that. yeah, yeah. that's going on, man. You know what I mean? So if everybody was, you know, singing, then I'm rapping. If everybody's rapping, I'm singing. I'll do whatever the opposite is yep. because I feel like all the needs need to be satisfied. And I just want to, you know, make sure everybody's covered. So, yeah. um, nah, bringing bars is important, man. I started rapping because, not because I heard Rock Him and not because I heard uh, Big Daddy Kane and not because I heard Jay Z. Mm. I rap because I heard uh, MC Hammer and Vanilla Ice, and I was like, "Word, these guys can <laughs> rhyme like this. <laughs> that means I can. That means there's some space for people uh, like me here, <laughs> bro. If, 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 it, bro, if everybody it. was as nice as him, as everybody who I heard was nice, I'd be like, oh, the game's in good hands. I don't need to be here. You know what I mean? It's only because I felt there was a purpose. So that's the reason that's why I rhyme. Because yo, that's why I don't get mad. Everyone's like, oh, the game's sour. Yo, I'm good, good. That means that there's places for people who are not sour. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, straight. Yeah. That's that's where I come from. Man. Right. Yeah, Super that's, facts. That's oh, it. There's a spot here for me. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Man, exactly. I'm all about the vacancies. Yeah. You guys are yeah. doing a low bar entry. Boom. Let's, yeah, 100%. Let's 100%. 100%. Yeah, if everybody was super nice, I'd be intimidated. Yeah. Okay, so let's do it. Let's go through like a history, le- um, a history ride. I could feel okay. my beard growing in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you got your first video. We had um, one of our alumni, Too Rude. Yes, hey. sir. Big up, Rude. Oh, right? yes. Rude, Rude, Rude yo. Dope, dope. I'm doing my research, right? Yeah. Because right, I wrote my own bars for this one today. Uh, 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 he didn't have his ghost <laughs> I, I, don't, I didn't have my uh, research team doing any, <laughs> okay, any, okay. any bars yeah. for me. Your hot, your hot was your first track? Like, first video track? Yeah. I didn't realize that, and really, yeah. So, what was that like? Like, your first fucking video, and you're seeing how much music, dog. Oh man, bro. Or so much even built. Oh man, how to make that short story? <laughs> like, you know, yeah. That was that when that 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 changed it for me. Like, mm. cause like, for me, it was, you know, I've been doing the music since since ever since whatever the case was 
we we sort of you know built up a little bit of a name mm-hmm. in in the city at the time through um original rule boys which was my first group mm. um that i actually entered into the space with period oh, yeah. you know um hmm. and uh so you know at this time it was as a point where i was kind of doing my own thing and and, and vibing out and Rue had been, you know, a, a, a producer, you know, accomplished producer in the city. Mm-hmm. You know, even at that time, you know, working with a with a bunch of different um, artists and and uh, and he, I remember when we we linked up. Um, you know, from time, but long story short, is he was like, "Look, we gotta get in the studio. Look, we gotta do." And I always be like, "Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure." Mm-hmm. And um, it, it, you know. There's so much more to that, you know, but yeah, I, just sure. the, the fast forward version is I'm in Play the Record one day and uh, and, mm-hmm. and Rue's there. Yeah, big up UG. Mm-hmm. Um, um, they still in the building up on Spadina. Mm-hmm. Y'all go check it out. Mm-hmm. And uh, so uh, Rue popped up out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? He was like, yo, what you doing right now? You know what I mean? Uh, uh. And I'm like, oh no, I think I just come from 88.1. Mm. Big up DJ X and the, and the whole whole uh, power move. Uh, pardon me, not power move. Yeah, uh, power move. Yeah, power power move, move, power move. Yeah, yeah, that's right. More like just um, eat the beat, man. Uh, wow. So I, I I think I was over there visiting because I I used to pop up on them, you know, weekend time. I'm downtown and moving around doing with one two one two, <laughs> and um, so long story short. He was like, what you doing? I'm like, ah, whatever, whatever. Basically nothing <laughs> was the uh, answer. <laughs> and then, and after I said it, I realized, oh, no. <laughs> he's yeah, like, good. Because we're right, upstairs. Go. We got a we studio right now. Here. I was like, oh, you serious? <laughs> um, and yeah, and that's what came out of it. We went down. They, they had a, he was recording in the basement mm. of Play the Record. They had a, a whole uh, studio set up there, booth, and, you know, um, and and like a real studio <laughs> they had down there, yeah. and uh, and I, I was you know taken aback first of all because I didn't even know that was under us the whole time, yeah. and uh, and then yeah. So long story short, that that song came out at those, pardon me, those uh, uh, that session and those sessions. Uh, I think we went back maybe once, once, uh, uh, once I think or uh, twice. I don't know, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, that song that that was, and then. You know, a, a, a little time went by, a few months went by, and for me it was like, okay, we did the joint, it was like, it's all good. Ooh, ooh. Then he hit me like, yo, we doing a video. Ooh, so I oh, slow, 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 yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. so, You know what I'm saying? It was a song, it was okay, cause you know, <laughs> and and there's a lot behind that, for, cause for me I was, you know, in, in life was just in a different place. Like the music was a thing that I definitely, you know, was about and doing, but obviously wasn't paying no bills and, and, yeah. and, and things of that nature and you know so you know I always felt like if if I was gonna do the music you know especially when it came to a video it scared the shit out of me to be honest because mm-hmm. it was like so now you're gonna put me on TV mm-hmm. <laughs> so, you, you understand uh, what I'm saying yeah. so I worry I'm like I'm I'm still on the road you understand what I'm saying yeah. so I'm like okay yeah, I'm. You know, going on TV just made me a target for <laughs> for, for everybody. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like the boy, them, the you know, the you know, Facts. the the undesirables, the, the you know, yeah, yeah whatever you want to call it. There was, it, no, there was just, no IG back then. Nah. Oh, so you know. Could you imagine if there was an IG back then? So I'm actually happy there wasn't. Thank man. God. Oh straight man. Up. Nah, a lot. Of, <laughs> anyway. Cheers <laughs> to that. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, yeah, cheers, cheers, cheers to that. that generate. You don't cheers know how lucky to, to things that. Staying where they belong. What stays back in the days? That, you know what I'm saying? What stays? What, what happens in Vegas? Every, stays in everything Vegas. happens right. at the right time. Exactly. Um, yeah, that's a real nah, thing. Nah, fact, facts. Yeah, yeah. 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 Facts. Long story short is um that yeah we we you know so I struggle with that and I finally decided okay we're gonna do it and part of part of my struggle with that was the fact that I felt like. If I was gonna be on TV and, and put myself out there in that way, I felt like, you know, my life's supposed to change. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna be on TV and, you know what I'm saying, be in the subway or be in the, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I felt like I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be hovering above this shit if 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 this is, you know? On TV. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? It's I like I'm, I'm asking for problems, you know what I'm saying? Especially yeah. with 
the mentality and the, and the lifestyle that, that you know, you know, I, I was involved with. So you were very young um, back then. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. This is the, it's the beginning. But by the time by the time that record uh, by the time we were at that video stage, I mean, I was fully you know um, you know recording and 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 trying and to be a musician. You know what I mean. Mm. So I'm not yeah, trying to say that we don't want money. money. Yeah. No, you know absolutely. I mean? it's, you know, I won't um, even let me just talk on that real quick. Yeah, yeah, let quick. me just say this. There's very few records. I'm a very <coughs> negative person by nature mm. and I'm very quick to like pick apart something. So anytime I find something that comes from where I come from that I'm proud to be affiliated with, even though I'm not affiliated with whatsoever, that joint was a song where I was like, This is a radio hit that I'm actually proud to be a radio hit because I heard the record and I was like I could see that this is a guy you can't mess with, you can't fuck with, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's this dude doing real music, making a real hit, yeah. and it wasn't because he was a friend of somebody. It wasn't because, you know, he was, like, uh, in the right spot at the right time. It's a guy mm -hmm. who earned his spot, made an actual real hit. It wasn't like, oh, but because he earned his spot, he gets put on regardless. It was yeah, a yeah. good record from a good dude from a city that I loved. Yeah. So it's very few times in my history where I actually heard a record from the city at that time when I was like, because I come from the Screwface era. Yeah, yeah. So we were all very much crabs in a bucket kind of people. So that was one of the first times where I heard, yo, you can actually like stuff from your own era. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know Jelly from nothing, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it wasn't me saying, yo, that's my boy getting put on. Yeah. I heard that joint and I was like, yo, mans who actually can rhyme, who actually have respect in the street, mm -hmm. can make an actual hit that gets played <laughs> until 2019 yeah. and fucking gets those residuals, you know what I mean? Because the record is a good song, you know, what yeah, I mean? and that's not that, that's not like a it's a good song because he's a good dude. It's just a good record regardless, yeah. and it's yeah, good that it comes from a good dude, yeah, it and it doesn't happen backyard. very often. And that's yeah. that's the Canada and that's the Toronto that I really respect, and yeah. I hope that continues on till 2090. That the guys who are really good good dudes are making good records for the right reasons. You yeah. know what I mean? So that's my only like well, add on so to that shit. You yeah, you make a bunch of great records, right? Yeah, Especially yeah, yeah. and like. Because you've done like, and both of y'all have been like through a bunch of media spaces, done a bunch of interviews, right? Yeah. So I, I don't want to just go back in the history. I want to talk about back and then what's going on now, right? I want to sure. like get the comparisons, right? So for example, with NSB, right? Um, MBS is NBS. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I keep on mixing the letters. As long as you got all I'm the dyslexic. letters right, that's all that matters. Dyslexia yeah. kicking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My dyslexic ass soccer all those shit. Letters together, right? yeah. so with naturally born strangers. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You guys had to track that. Get, um, Jameson Ave yeah. that's the one you got the Juno for uh, or was it for the whole project nah, the, Juno, the Juno came for the whole project yeah okay yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, congratulations on that Thank yeah, yeah. Much, that I much appreciate yeah, it was bro. a very unexpected that's right? thing yeah. and, and yeah, you're yeah. not Juno's a stranger big. to the Junos yeah. Yeah, I've, been, I've been nominated I haven't yeah, won a Juno yeah. okay. I haven't won one so you know, so I fucked up on my intro my bad no no, no, no that's alright that's okay, alright you say you're playing the correct game so for you as a as a as a lyrical guy and yeah. somebody who really respects music, right? Like yeah. as you were even explaining now, yeah. how was it going to the Junos for the first time? It was wild. It was super unexpected because I showed up there with Tona. Mm. Uh, Rich was in London, uh, in L.A. and we showed up there specifically thinking we're here to watch Socrates get his award. That's really what it was. Shouts to Trey Mission. I thought you were very dope. Mo Marco Polo does his does his thing. This is mm. 2015. It really don't matter in 2019, but. Yeah. Um, we went there thinking this is a lifetime achievement for Sox. He deserves his award. We're going to come. I dressed like a country music star. <laughs> Tona came with whatever he had in his knapsack. <laughs> we weren't well, there to win at all. We yeah. got there for the free bar. That's all we were there for. We drank. And then they announced the name and we showed up. And we were like, this is not even right. Mm. To be real, like you already know the history of the mixtape, it was there as a soundtrack to clothing line. Yeah. It wasn't really a project that was supposed to be anything more than that so mm. it was all bonus <coughs> stuff that <didn't> happened <coughs> excuse me um so when that happened it was very dope though but it was it was nice to be like it's always nice to be acknowledged by your peers or whatever you want to call it you know what i mean so you yeah. check it off the list you put it on your bio you put it in your press kit it's cool yeah but really it's not what i make music for man like i don't i don't care one way or the other you know what i mean whether i lost or i won my life is exactly the same mm. it's nice to say that i won it's not. It's no different than if I won a Grammy or I didn't win a Grammy. Those are all just like check marks on the list. Yeah. I'm just here to make the records. That's that's basically my job. So, but it was a wild time, though. Trust me. We got. You guys absolutely basically ripped. just went there to get drunk, and then you ripped. won an award. <laughs> weren't expecting to win an award. 
Not at all. Not even thinking. You, did you know you were nominated? We no, yeah, yeah, we okay. realized we were nominated when we went all there. Right, yeah, yeah. But we went there for Juno Weekend but only because before, it was in Hamilton. Yeah. If that was in London, Windsor, or Manitoba, <laughs> or BC, we wouldn't it. have shown. Yeah. We showed up because it was a drive away, and we were like, let's go to the bar and let's drink. And yeah. that's how me and Tona do. We just got ripped out of our minds. <laughs> and I was so smashed. It was like getting pulled over by the cops. When they said the, the, the <laughs> award winners, when they said the winner, as soon as she said, nah, I cycled through all the nominees. And I was like, none of them start with nah, except for us. I knew it was me. And I stood up. I was like dead sober at the time. Because it's like getting pulled over. I was just like, oh shit, I'm dead sober. I got to say some shit. Officer. So yeah, and I said some shit. Uh, were you drinking like, tonight? No, officer. I wasn't I was, drinking tonight, was, officer. Bro, there's nobody in Hamilton that's not smashed. So definitely I was I was yeah. equal. Yeah. I'm I'm doing this. Yeah. I was yeah, <laughs> check the footage, bro. I was dressed like a man that was not supposed to be on camera. Oh, man. I just I'm, wanted to make the dress code. That's all it was. I wasn't supposed to be there. I'll be That's reposting. So but anyhow, man, it was it was a good time. We really we really won that. Not just for the strangers. Strangers are a representation of everybody from that lost generation. Mm-hmm. You know what it is? It was it was the Maestro Missy generation. Then it was the Circle generation. Then it was that lost yes. generation before Drake. Like the pre-Drake generation is all the guys we won that for. Yeah. That's the cir- that's not mm-hmm. so much the circle, it's but that's like so after the that's circle. All the monolith, Drake. that's all the hustle, and, man. Yes. That's all the that's all JB, that's all GCP, that's all everybody who was really supposed to win that, that was on behalf of everybody. That's really. I should have said that. Instead I said nah blah blah because I was <laughs> hammered off a of wine. Yeah, that's the best way whiskey. to describe that era. But that's what it was. It was a true. forgotten era, man. That era yeah. right there, in between, like you said, those certain names and then before Drake, there was that vacancy. It was because, and then all of a sudden, Drake. Those guys up all with, got this deals. This city is mine. Yeah, because everybody got deals. Everybody got deals, and what, not everybody. It wasn't like a handout thing, but people got deals back then because albums were selling because that's what the technology was, and and money could be made off of music. Mm. So that's what it was. Then when that went away, it was all like who. It was just a race to see who was going to be the guy that put Toronto on the map. Yeah. We all knew Toronto had a chance to be the next big place. Mm. Everybody had that vibe, and I'm sure you felt the same thing. And that's where really the screw face vibe comes from. Because if we were all from the same building, and we all got the same memo to our door saying, yo, whoever paints their balcony the best is going to get free groceries for the rest of the year, mm. we would all be not helping each other with their balconies. We'd be all making sure our balconies were the shit. Mm. That's how it works. So what happened was that whole, if anybody ever talks about Screwface, if you're a younger generation, you're like, what's the Screwface era? There's yeah. a bunch of people trying to get the free groceries award, trying to make sure their balcony's the nicest. And what happened was, at that time, Drake had a nicest balcony. Mm-hmm. We all wish we had the nicest balcony. And then everybody else was on that same rush. We yeah, were all yeah, hating yeah, each other. Because yeah. it's not about hating. It was just a very competitive era. Once he hit that, once he me. got the award, the, the, the competition died down. So now we could actually support each other. And that's mm. why that screw face era kind of died down. Because yeah. we're all like, okay, it's done. Nobody's trying to be the first guy out anymore. We can all kind of like each other. The only reason why I kind of get in and out about it is that some people are still trying to paint their balcony the same color Drake painted their balcony. You can still do whatever you want with your balcony. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? You can still make your shit original. You can still make whatever music you want. Mm-hmm. Shout out to everybody that does whatever they feel like doing. Right. You don't have to copy that to get the free groceries. The grocery the grocery award is gone already. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So, um, hail ups to everybody who got us to that point mm-hmm. where people want to give us free groceries. That's, you know, everybody on the come up. And everybody from that era is who I represent. All the guys that was trying to be the guy who got that award. You yeah. know what I mean? That's yeah. that's who I that's where I come from. When we won that Juno, it was all for the guys trying to get that free grocery award. That's that's basically that where I come award. from. That's where I come from, man. That's that's so, it. Yeah. There's one thing I I want I want to I want to touch on, on on something you said there mm. about screw face. Yeah. Cabin, you come from that. Yeah. I I, I want to take it back even further. Yeah. Okay. Of of the meaning of that, of, yeah. of where that came from, especially for the youngins, and and it it ties right into it, it comes right up to 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 your chronological uh, breakdown right there. But I I would send it back to the beginnings out here where you know there wasn't five hip hop parties in a night. No, there wasn't no. even that many in a month. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It was like. One or two a season, yep. you know what I'm saying? That this, was like, yo, there's a party in Rex right now. <laughs> you going down there? Or there's a party in Scarborough? You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Don Mont's having a party. You're reaching out yeah. there? Okay. Yeah. And they're shutting down the ones that were just started. That's yeah. what's crazy. Is and that? the thing about it though yeah. is, is 
especially like hip hop, you know, at those parties, everybody that was there that was participating was part of the culture. Absolutely. Meaning they did something. They was an MC, they was a DJ, they was a dancer, they were mm -hmm. a graffiti writer, they were a uh 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 uh, uh uh, right, an entrepreneur, whatever, you know what I'm saying? They was it. a hustler. They was a, yeah. you feel what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. they were involved in, intimately. They yeah. were the, we they were the culture. Everybody yeah. in that room, we were the, the culture. culture. You feel what I'm saying? Things. And yeah. it, it, we, we didn't have fans. Yeah. You, you feel what I'm saying? It was all for each other. And this is yeah. where the, the, the screw face capital came in for me because what would happen was everybody's at the party like this. Yeah. Whoever's performing, <laughs> we like this. Yeah. Cause you had to do something that I can't, you. Cause I do this too. Yeah. I know all about what you're talking. About. I know anything. You, you gotta. You have to impress me. Yeah. And the people, those the of us that were impressed. able to make people unfold their arms, worse. It was bust so much too more blank. Oh, <laughs> see, he's absolutely right. That was so the whole true. reason of doing a good show or doing a good whatever. If you break breaking, if you spraying, yeah. whatever it is. The mm -hmm. whole reason for doing the best you could do. Was because you're like nobody's giving me no blah because I'm from here yeah. at all. Yeah. If we're if going back to the metaphor, if we're all from the same building, everyone's going back home saying this guy's from the same place I'm from. Why should I care about him? Yeah. For some reason, New Orleans and Atlanta and all those places, they have a different mentality. They're like, yo, he's from my building, so I love this guy. Mm -hmm. From yeah, they, here, it's like, yo, if you're from thing. here, why do I care about you? Why don't you care about me? Yeah. And it's such a different thing. But he's absolutely right. That's yeah. what it was. I think that you don't mm -hmm. get on stage and come with some half-ass shit. That's yeah. the reason why I think even until 2019, artists from other guys, places couldn't come in and come with absolutely, absolutely. 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 Let you, know. you can't yeah. tell me, oh, this guy's yeah. from Buffalo. He's coming yeah. up here to do his thing. No, if you want to rock the place, get the fuck home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we would let you know. Yeah, we, we yeah. would let you know. Yeah, facts. We would let you know. Like, yeah, bro, that's that's not that's not that's not, that's not accepted yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, Sorry, you were, that's not accepted here. Doesn't matter how who you are. Yeah, that's not accepted here. The bigger name you had was the bigger pressure it was. You better perform. And if you don't live up to that, trust me, we're coming home with your jewelry. Yeah. I'm coming mm -hmm. home with your tour bus. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Yeah, we try to take some. <laughs> yeah. 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 Something's yeah. happening. But yeah. I'm proud of that. I'm proud yeah. of that's the era yeah. I come from, man. But I realized why <laughs> it came to an end, man. But Straight. it built it built it, MCs it, like it yourself. Did. Like because myself. If you, did. if you did it, if you didn't come correct with it, you know you were getting the the, the hook. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um so one question I want to ask, and it's a question that both of y'all we all uh, have a, a common bond with, okay? Um, I, we usually play the name game or I have this like, name game thing that I do, right? And it was, it's also brings into our conversation because these guys help bring a le the city up to another level, okay? Mm -hmm. So, Sorry. for example, Noah Forty Shabib, mm -hmm. okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. We all have a connection to him here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the question goes to both of y'all in different ways. Or the same, when did you first meet Forty? Okay. And what was going on, like, that... What, like how did you guys connect and like what were you guys doing like with the engineering and what were you working on and same thing with you Adam Straight. All right because it's both different times yeah. yeah um I met 40 mid 2000s early early to mid 2000s he was interning for gadget mm. gadget is uh for those uh, you know sorry to put you on blast guys <laughs> but uh for for those who don't know he is like I think single-handedly uh, changed the sound of Canadian music. Mm. Um, he, uh, and, and I know this wasn't the question, so I don't want to go off too much on it because it's, it's a whole, a whole other thing onto itself, but uh, yeah, he changed the sound of uh, Canadian music and, and uh, Forty was interning for, for Gadget at the time. Oh, wow. And I had just come off of the, uh, I just come out of my Warner Brothers situation mm -hmm. um, and was working on uh, what would have been the hood, what became the Hood is Here album. Yeah, um, we're working out of Blacksmith Studio, um, and and that's where where I met Forty at. Forty was one of a handful of produce, uh, pardon me, engineers that I I was working with at the time, and, and uh, with the exception of uh, uh, Damien and, uh, and one other cat. But uh, what happened was 
you know, we we were work, I was working with interns that just wasn't cutting it. I'm coming from working with, uh, you know, the likes of Carl Napa as a Pro Tools guy in in, in uh, out of New York that was, you know, uh, and just the speed in which, you know, a studio session, a recording session w w was at for me at that point. Mm -hmm. You know, working with these interns, it, it was it was just it was a little frustrated to say the least. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> Uh, one day I got in there with with uh, with Noah and uh, and it was like I at that time I was already frustrated and just expected more the, of the same yeah the same sort of pace and sort of kind of had to humble myself to it like okay this is what it is and and was prepared for that and uh, and as we worked he was like no yeah no got that what you know what I'm saying like he was he was like I'm like whoa okay you, you know what I'm saying he was he working at a high level that you ready yes for. yes well. and, and I was like okay like now I could work I'm like oh mm. shit let's yeah, because now you're in your pocket. You, know yeah, you don't yeah. have to worry about certain things. He's yeah. got those things handled already. Yeah, he's you're doing your job. He's doing his job. Now I can work. Yeah, he's he's exceptional. Um, he's, yeah. yeah. So, a uh, long story short, I, I was like, I, I spoke to Gad. I'm like, look, I, don't put me in that room with nobody else <laughs> after this. And uh, you know, one thing led to another. We we um uh, we started working out of my home studio at the mm -hmm. time. And uh, and and to be perfectly honest, if if not for that, we we probably ne nobody would have got to hear the Hood Is Here album. Mm -hmm. Like uh, if not for us meeting and, and working in the in the capacity that we did, and and in the capacity that we worked is what earned him the name Forty. To be uh, perfectly 40 honest, days, forty nights, forty days, he 40 don't nights. rest, bro. Like uh, believe it or not, man. Yes. Like I, yo. 40, I can't even call him 40. Noah, Noah is the dude that showed me that certain people are made for this music mm -hmm. and some people are not. Some people are good enough to be talented enough for it, but certain people deserve to be there. I have, like, some people earn their stripes because they're in there at the right spot at the right time. Mm -hmm. 40 would have been there regardless of the era. If this was 1982, <laughs> he would have been there. If it was 1938, he would have been there. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. And that's not to even gas him. He's just, and like Jelly mm -hmm. would tell you, I, I messed with Noah back in uh, 2000 and maybe one. Mm -hmm. It's when Empire kind of was getting their stuff together. He went to high school and he was trying to hit up guys to be like, yo, let me do some joints for you. Yeah. We turned him down like five, six times in a row. Like, uh, we got our own guy. We don't really want nobody else. <laughs> oh, wow. Then he then he was like convinced one of our guys tech to like, yo, get the guys together. Come to my spot. We got a spot on Parkdale. We went to Parkdale. Mm -hmm. We did mm -hmm. the joints. It wasn't so much the quality of the beats. It wasn't anything like that. Actually, side note, we always thought that his beats were like hard hitting. So we're like, yo, no one's ever going to take these soft sound of beats. <laughs> no. It turns out that's the sound of Toronto. In five <laughs> but anyhow, he started doing his stuff and we started messing with him. The hand of God, imagine being the first basketball coach you ever get is Greg Popovich. Mm. Bro, if you mess with this guy and then all of a sudden you work with anybody else, you're like, no, 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 that's not what I'm used to. The first main guy we ever mess with is Noah Forty Shabib. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy because, like he said, if I tell this guy, oh, in my head I'm thinking something stupid abstract, this guy would be like, oh, like this? Boom, boom, click, click, click. <laughs> oh, you mean like this? Done. Bro, he reads minds. He's super quick. He mm -hmm. understands the equipment. He's just... He's very good at what he does, and mm -hmm. that's what—that's the bottom line. Noah yeah. is made for this industry, absolutely. absolutely. He took the entire music we were making. He said, "Yo, just rhyme to all these drum loops." We rhyme to all the drum loops. Mm -hmm. He would leave, remix them while we were sleeping. We would come home, or we come back to the studio the next day or the next week, and he have new versions of the whole record that he wow. redid while we were sleeping. Wow, that's the forty day, forty night yeah. stuff. Absolutely. And and he just—he just belonged there. And what happened was he got so good at it, he re he realized that yo, the guys I'm messing with are good, but I gotta get I gotta elevate. Mm -hmm. And when we start not being able to get in touch with him, he was messing with guys like Chaos, guys like Jelly, mm -hmm. guys like Socks. He was Sox already on another level. By the time I started messaging him and I realized what else he was with, messing with, I was like, you know what? He's finding his place. Yeah. I didn't realize he would get to the level he's at where mm -hmm. he's working with Beyonce and all of that. Yeah. But. To be honest, if anyone told me one day he was going to, I'd be like, absolutely. I well, get it. We all, wow. you know, there was a time where y'all reconnected because when, you know, I came into the mix and started dealing with y'all yeah. with yeah, the yeah, Empire yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. we were recording with him heavily, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And during that time, a young light-skinned gentleman popped up on the scene. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? mm -hmm. I think I know so, who's on <laughs> <laughs> Now... Why we had customized skin color? Trust yeah. you want a microphone? Trust, <laughs> trust, <laughs> trust, <laughs> trust, <laughs> trust, 
<laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm like no. the only light skinned nigga in the house. Today, and we ain't you know? talking about her, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? So, what's y'all earliest Drake recollection for both of y'all? So, let's, let's start with you, Jefferson. Yeah. Uh, personally, personal, uh, with 40, I, I went to see 40 at, um, I think it was Remix. Mm-hmm. I believe it was Remix. And uh, and I went there to meet meet Drake because he was telling me about this kid and and he had played me a few things at the time and I was I was like yeah this I I thought Drake had it from the time he played me some stuff um, in terms of being a, a MC like it it, it, it struck me because I was like this is. Okay, because I'm looking at wheelchair Jimmy, and, I, and I, I'm listening yeah, to, like, how, how and I was both? like, yeah. I was like, okay, okay, and I, you know, so that was definitely uh, was was interesting to me, and and, and uh, so anyway, he he, uh, he 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 invited me down there one day when they when they was there, and uh, and, mm. and I remember meeting Drake, and he was uh, like super humble, like very nice person. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say very nice, like the, as, as like, uh, you know that. I mean, like, genuine. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah, felt yeah. that from him, and 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 it's, you know, um, and and just, you know, just humble and, and soaking up the game. You know what I mean? And 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 I, I seen that um, from that first time I met him, I, and I, I felt like, you know, like yeah, yeah. they they go and hearing what they were doing, I'm like. You know, I, I, you know, I co-signed it all the way. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, go. You know what I mean? For you, you know, like this is what, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, because you know, and and then, you know, he was explaining to me how fast uh, Drake worked at the time when you know this is even before I had actually met him that day. Mm-hmm. You know, so I was like, okay. And he's like, yeah, we woo, 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 woo. like work, and then, you know, um, meeting them and 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 seeing it. You know what I mean? And it's like, yeah. This, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm, um, I'm super proud. Like, yeah. super proud of them. You know, like nobody can't really talk down about them around me. Uh, you know, Excuse and, me, and, uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Do, so, you know, you know uh, they, they, you know, every, every so often in the culture, uh, uh, something comes along, and it's like that bend it changes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And 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 that is. That is that dynamic duo. In fact, the trifecta just can't leave out Ali yeah. and just how they've b- a, been able to, you know what I'm saying, like put it all together. He's a whole pivot in the whole yeah, industry. Totally. Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And, and just yeah. understanding where the culture is and, and being able to, to come in and do what they wanted to do. Like you speak about mm-hmm. for I have an interlude on, on the Hood is Here album. It's mm-hmm. called um, Home. And that, and that's all forty. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's, that it was. A, it's like a piece. He did even the the voice you hear in there. That's him yeah. singing. And, and 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 we did a record. It was on a, uh, uh, this this uh, movie that I, I did. I, I had a little part in that Ving Rams uh, started and produced in called um, uh, Saving God. And, mm-hmm. and a piece of that song is in in the in the score of that movie and, and uh but w- when i think about that song and i think that was all the like when you say that was like what 40 liked to do that was his he had that r&b that chord that musicality mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. is you just give him the material, you man, know he'll make he'll make an art out of it man yeah, he makes, he makes yeah. a, a masterpiece out of anything you give him man straight yeah so so Tell yeah in, in both of those uh in both of those instances, yeah, we just I, I just let them go. But as I look back, I see that that was this is all the the, the bed track. It all led for, up to what's going on. It now. needed it needed Drake. Yeah. You know what I'm exactly. saying? And, and Drake needed and it needed, worked exactly it, what that's exactly yeah. what yeah. Noah yeah. wanted to do the whole time. That's mm-hmm. what I really even going back to what I was saying about the softer beats. Mm-hmm. When he was giving us those records, I was like, yeah, this is dope, but don't knock like I like I, you know I'm a fan of Havoc and you know I yeah. mean, those, those those drums that make your ears hurt. Some primo shit. So when he was giving me the stuff he was giving me, I was like, who is this? for it you know what i mean like i'm not trying to sing but when when it actually la- landed in drake's lap i was like this is exactly what it was supposed to be for the entire time mm-hmm. i met i met him at a at a party we did a show at china it was the place called china dog
I and it was a show. That. One of the boys had a show there. Yeah. And when you showed up there, Drake had no involvement in it. The show wrapped up. The crowd left. And mm-hmm. the only people left were the rappers who rapped that night. And it was just the DJ, the rappers who wanted to rhyme. Mm-hmm. And the mic just kept going in circles. And he jumped in. And I was like, oh, that's the guy. He has got. A, he does the thing on a television show. I'll let him rhyme a little bit and see yeah. how he does. And he was, he was killing it. And not only did, was he killing it, he actually was looking like he was working he was working it like he was trying hard to make sure that people noticed that he was nice with it and from mm. then i was like yo you know what i don't doubt this guy's work ethic yeah. he's nice with it and i don't doubt his work ethic and then all i got was stories about how this guy doesn't sleep and he just wants to make sure that everybody loves his stuff and mm-hmm. i understand that's where it comes from man dope, he's man. dope man he does his thing I, nobody can tell me nothing about him you know you want to go into the ghost writing you want to go into all the details about his life sure up and down for everybody but does the guy deserve his spot? Absolutely. Yeah, Straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dope, dope. A um, couple more questions. Yeah, go right? ahead. When you were going through that deal, Jelly Stone. Okay. Okay, and you were... You're talking about uh, this, the Warner deal, yeah. Yeah. right? Okay. And that was, that was a major deal that was going on, yes, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of paper. Mm-hmm. What was the biggest thing that you splurged on in that time? Ah, like ah. something that you were like, yo, I'm going to get one of these. And it was just like, wow, I can't believe I bought this. And then can't believe I bought this. Like, I'm not talking about a something crib or, or something like, like that. I'm talking about like why did I even waste my money on this? Like, yeah, like I bought crazy. it, and then you're like, I didn't really need to buy this, but platinum chain. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> platinum chains. That's like early 2000s. What were those going for back then? Too much money. Jesus Christ. Yo, I Too remember. Yo, I, oh. okay. So you remember um, <laughs> the flea market on Young? Okay. Where they, where they used to sell the gold teeth and shit. Right at Young, yeah, and, yeah. Right young and Dundas, the, the, the flea market thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I remember when I asked him, I'm like, yo, can you get platinum teeth? <laughs> and I was like, yo, that will rot out your teeth. You can't get platinum. That will rot out your teeth. And that shit's like, heavy. All right, cool. Then whatever. What about the gold? He's like, yeah, you can do the gold. And then fast forward, like three years later, everybody's rocking platinum teeth. This, that. I'm like. Yeah, you can do anything with. But it was just, at the time, anything. it was so new. Like they were like, nah, nah, you can't do that, because they couldn't afford it. They wasn't going. Yeah, it's going to cost them to, Too to much get that to, to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even yeah. like, and to fast forward to now. Mm-hmm. Actually, no. Let's keep it back there for a quick second. You were meeting like Beyonce, fucking Fifty Cent back in those days and all them things, right? Never met Beyonce. No, you never met Beyonce. Well, or unless the I met, fucking I met uh, uh, um, Kelly. We, we met briefly. Mm. Um, yes. We said hello, uh, yeah. you know. But I met I met uh, Brandy, mm-hmm. you know. Nice. Um, and and uh, met I met Left Eye. Ooh, R.I.P. Indeed. Left Eye. Oh man, yeah, yeah. Man. Crazy Left Eye story. I won't, I won't yeah, tell. No, that. tell it's us, not, please. It's not that. It's not that crazy. It's just. It, tell it's, us. Uh, ah, uh, you know, it, it's that's yeah, it's, it's, it's our first interview. I'll be back. I'll, I'll be that's back. For the yeah. imagination. This but uh, the but imagination. no, I, I, you know, I met her. You know, uh, a, f- a few years before. You know, her untimely passing. Rest in peace. And, mm-hmm. and um, you know, but she was. You know, when I met her, she was just like so real. It was she. She was like it was a real person. And, and then, I, 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 you know what? Basically, I met her. I. I you know, and, and I bossed up, like, because it, it was just, I, I didn't know who she was. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I was actually recording it at the Hit Factory. All right, fuck it. I'm going to tell the story. Yeah. So this is post, sorry to interrupt you. So this is post Waterfalls or this is Ain't Too Proud to Beg? Oh, this is, this is, um, yeah, this post Waterfalls. Mm. Okay, this is in. I'll tell you exactly. This is in in 1999. Okay, jeez, crazy, sexy, cool time. Okay, yeah, it's keep going. Nice. Um, and uh, so I'm in Hit Factory. We uh, we on the top floor. I I, I got the lounge that you know y- you gotta whoever comes in. I get to see them. There's only another one other studio up there. So I did it on purpose because I was hoping that, you know, knew in the game, we, you know, we out here, we spent a little money, we're in the big dog yeah. studio, you know, I wanted to kind of be able to, you know, be able to meet people and, mm-hmm. you know, kind of, you know, but we was up there alone for weeks, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> to the point where um, one day uh, I'm on the phone and, and 
this female comes through the door, like you hear the door buzz, cause it's just a, outside the door is just a, pla uh, 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 a landing, stairs to go downstairs in the elevator. Okay. So uh, the door buzzes, this person comes in, she walks up, she's in, I just see the shape from the back. I'm on the phone with the homie, like, yo. Who's that? Yo, bro. And then at that point, like, we ain't, I didn't, <coughs> like, didn't see nobody. It's ghost town. Anybody came up there, it was, it was us. We was just, you know. Um, so I remember being like, yo, bro, one thing else coming in you know. So, boom. Yep. She go into the other studio, whatever the case is. I'm still on the phone. She come out. Now I see the person from the front. She fresh face. Hey. Like, ah. You know what I mean? Like, this is crazy. She go out the door. I'm like, bruh. Boom, boom, boom. I'm trying to get off the phone. Our assistant comes out of our studio. I'm like, yo, go grab. grab. Holler at that. Boom. She sticks her head back in like, so I say, no, come, come on, boo, 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 boo. Yeah, yeah. I hop up, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna call you back. Like, yo, so what's up? Da, 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 da. Who you, who's she? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you do music? What, like, what got you up here? Like, yeah, I do music sometimes, da, da, da. I'm like, yeah, I'm here doing this, da, 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 da. Mm. This and that, I'm like, you know? Yeah, well, maybe, you know, we get, I'm macking like a mom. Uh, <laughs> like, let me get your number. I'm sure. Just give me a number, God. Put Set. the number in the phone, like, yeah. Tell me your name and get woo woo. Like Lisa, I'm like, all right, woo woo. And just because I was trying to be like I was important to somebody and shit like this. I'm like, yeah, Lisa, Lisa, what? You know what I'm saying? She said Lopez. I write it in there and then I look at it. I'm like, Lisa Lopez. I look up at her face. Uh, that's when it clicked in? After this? Her face time? morphs into left eye. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> and, and now I'm like, all right. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I got, I got, like, I lost my cool. Yeah, and and, and consciously, I'm in my head. I'm now I'm in, in my own head, like, nigga, you losing your cool, nigga. Yeah. Get your, yeah. get your yeah. shit yeah. straight, so, and I'm like, straight up, nigga, fly right. You know what I mean? I'm so now. I'm literally, I was like, I just got to get out this conversation. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna hit you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then yeah, after man. I was like, what the fuck did I just do? Like. I never had a moment like that before. Mm. Like, no, and, 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 and meeting any celebrity at any time, and, 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 and I, it was just, I never had a moment like that. Okay. So, and uh, wow, yeah, anyway, we, we, we spoke uh, once or twice, and you know, um, talked about maybe doing music or whatnot, and yeah. uh, me going to Atlanta at the time and, and whatnot, but, uh, yeah, it never that you know it, it never actually panned out, and, and as things progressed, you know her life yeah. is you know when you know route. you know when it's on route doing all you know. Yeah, um, R.I.P. Left Eye. Well, R.I.P. Nice. Left Eye. Uh, yeah. uh, That's a crazy real story. real chick, Wild man. Though, she man. she was just like real person down to earth, like just nah, yeah, Molly. You know what I mean? Like mm, yeah, no, like no, my friend Ends could could, could, could right. chop just, it up with her. Just the fact that you're like yeah. Yeah. You're back and you're boss and you're in your group and doing your thing. Right. You got the number and then when you put two, you're like, hold on a second. Oh, wait, who Whoa. And then right it's now? like the, then the the morph comes and you're yeah. like, oh shit, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. So like I I I I, I, I can feel <laughs> it. I can understand what you're saying because it's yeah, never like, in my life. Like, is that, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Is she gonna burn my right, house? house? <laughs> is she gonna burn my house? Honestly, I wouldn't care. I would buy four houses just so she can burn two. I would give a fuck. Lisa's dope like that. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll leave it a matches. <laughs> Last question before <laughs> that's, we get to that's, that's um, dope. because we, we we were going a little bit late yeah, here today. But episode one hundred episode, you know what I mean? Your hundred hundred episode. That's, you know, this is why I'm here, brother. Yeah, you know what I mean? To support y'all. It's a blessing to have y'all yeah, both yeah. in the building. You yeah, know, what I appreciate what Adam Bomb as well yeah. as the legend, the legendary Adam Bomb and the legendary Jelly Stone in the motherfucking building.